Alright, and welcome back to Mafia 3. We're going to continue our rampage with Lincoln Clay. However, we are going to first talk to the father in the French ward. So, let's see what the father has to say. I can't believe what I'm reading, what I'm hearing on the radio. What you doing? You knew how it was going to go down. I sat right there and told you. Maybe I'm just realizing there's a difference between hearing about something in the abstract and seeing it splash across the front page in a newspaper. You didn't think I'd go through with it? I... I don't... No, I knew. I knew as soon as you regained consciousness, I could see it. I, I look at you, I see who you were. A little boy who didn't have much, but who also wasn't angry about it. A little boy who shared, who laughed, who, who just enjoyed being. I wonder what happened to him. He finally realized how things work. <laughs> Is that so? How many times was the orphanage vandalized by rednecks? How many times did we have to drive around asking restaurants for their leftovers because we didn't have nothing else to eat? Did we have to deal with racist assholes? Sure. But whenever they did something, folks come around and help us. White, black, Baptist, Lutheran, you name it. You know how all you boys got new jackets on Christmas? Those came from an old white woman, a Calvinist. She spent the entire year making them. If all you ever look for is evil, it's all you ever gonna see. I gotta go. I, I never wanted this for you, Lincoln. I wanted you to have a good life. Okay, so apparently the father is not um, accepting of what we're doing, I guess. But if we followed in his footsteps, we wouldn't have a game. So, with that being said, um, but ooh, there's stuff down here. Let's see, kickback. Uh, ooh, uh, see, ooh, that's okay. I think we're gonna go talk to Donovan, see what he has to say. And once again, that's a fairly large jump. So we'll be back. All right, guys, we are back. We're going to go visit Donovan. Didn't want to bore you with my driving skills. So here we go. Let's see what he has to say. I love this guy. Who are we shooting? Didn't you hear? We're about to find ourselves in the middle of a race war. I've seen you shoot. I think I'll be all right. Hey, with this fucking rifle, I'm Wild Bill Hickok. So, how's the Padre handling all this? You know, the bloody path of mayhem and revenge you've embarked upon? Still not happy about it. Thinks you're most likely the devil. <laughs> you know, I had a look at his service record. Oh, settle down, I was just curious. He was a medic, but he saw action at Klimbaugh with a 614th. He was credited with taking out two crowd tanks on top of the 16 men he shot. A lot of killing for a would-be priest. That was different. It was during a war. And this isn't? Look, I'm just saying, we didn't win that war by worrying about hurting someone's feelings. We won it by bombing the crowds and nips back to the Stone Age. Padre'd be wise to remember that. Yeah, maybe. I'll catch you later. You're not still sore about me looking into the Padre, are you? Mm. Don't tell me you weren't at least a little curious. The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You gotta be shitting me. Last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut. And then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commissioner give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. 
See if I can leverage this thing with Greco to bring Skeletor around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. Oh, right. So, from what I've been told, Vito is actually in Mafia 2. Which is kind of cool, the fact that they're bringing back an old player. Come on, open the door. There we go. Oh, look, he spent the night. So, uh, okay, I've got to go all the way over here. Yep, River Row. Got to talk to Vito. Okay, here we go. More driving. Just great. Okay, so 1,200 clicks away. We will be right back. Right after these messages. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? Okay. So, we are back, and I'm gonna leave whatever the hell that was. I think it's like a time jump or something. Good lord, I don't know what the hell that was. But it looks like Vito's in there, and someone's there kind of, uh, watching over him or something. Get a word about how it's going in there. How you think? Vito's taking his beat. Okay. Wish Greco would just let us kill a poor son of a bitch. Let's see. Get, get up and over there. Nothing here. All clear. Okay. Huh? Oh shit, he's in this way. Oh shit, there's a guy over there too. Uh, I think I can get them both. Okay. And... Gotcha! Huh? And let's go this way. And kick! Oh, I was kind of hoping that we just kick him over the bridge, or over the water, over into the water, I should say. Okay, gonna stealth around. Uh... Okay, there's someone there. There's two people. Hmm. What would be the best way to do this? I kind of wish this game had chain killing, like being able to go from one person to the other with 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 ease. Fuck! Big mistake, no, asshole. No, 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 no. Gonna take my time with you. Fire on that piece of shit. There we go. go. Ah. Run, 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 run. You ticked off the wrong white boy. Okay. Set his right. ass on fire. Fire oh, coming down. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Hey, he's over here. Go, 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 go. I'm killed. Whew, that was close. Okay. Oh, I totally missed that guy. Don't have any weak uh, oh, Come on, fuck it out. Oh, come on. Let me go around. See that? Well, I'm gonna see if I can go around. Oh, he, he went inside. Come on, fuck it out. Oh, gotcha. That was a dramatic little yell. Let's get some health real quick. Okay, that guy's got a shotgun. It's probably gonna be better. Oh. That's him. Let's go! Uh, oh shit. Fire! Fire oh, shit. now! Felt real good. Grab a cover! Switch that ammo! Let's see. Get your ass around him! Get him oh, I took out his kneecaps. Oh. We got ourselves a gear! Oh, shit! Yeah. Yeah. Fucking stuck! Oh, man. Oh, I Taking this cover! Guy. This gun now. Come on, pop out. He's not like that! <laughs> Sorry about that. I just, like, straight up shot him in the chest. Come on, stick your head out, dude. I'm gonna blow it off. And boom! Okay, so I gotta swap something out. I can't use this. 
Oh, I'm inclined oh, to fuck you up. You got the right to die. Yeah, the right to die. You're right. I have the right to survive. Uh, the shotgun. Ooh, there's a painting over here. Let's, let's grab that really quick. Yeah, one real, real sweet. Let's see, three shots versus the thirty shots versus this. We probably have. Okay, so I'm thinking the, shot, the, the machine gun will be better. Even though I suck at the machine gun. Okay, here we go. X and X. Gotcha. Looks like I got here just in time, Vito. Lincoln. How's this possible? I thought you were dead. The bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. Worst place to shoot a fella's in the forehead. The skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. I figured if he fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. Yeah, I'm guessing he didn't go for it. <sighs> Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. Didn't want me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur, never sat on a big score before. That money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so... I stayed. Commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop. Make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. Heard he brought in his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Sure didn't number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. I could leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Eh, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. And I'm gonna need your help. Look, pretty much whittle me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. But once I take back River Road from Greco, Money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. Also, we're partners now. As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want it. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. Kind of a hard bargain. Nobody kills that scumbag but me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. Nice. Oh, there's a painting inside. Hold on. I gotta grab that real quick. Where are you? Oh, uh, the concierge. I don't wanna call it concierge. I want my painting. Where is it? Where is it? That's oh, in the other room. Uh, there we go. Hey, Lincoln. I'm, uh, still trying to get this place back in just order. came for the painting, bro. Okay, so. Oh, we're real close to this one, so let's go. Let's go do that one real quick. All right. And up we go. Really quick, uh, quick traversal. Don't have to go anywhere special or fancy. Yeah, I could watch scary movies all day when I was a boy. Uh, it's just funny watching my own boy really get into them. Has a stack of magazines up to my hip about him. Mm. Vito says you're reliable. 
Vito said you'd be expecting me. Took you long enough. I'm Jock Blanchard. Vito claims you can unfug this mess and get us working men back on a job. Maybe. Depends if your information's any good. Used to kick up to Vito's men Andy Toretto for union work. But now that Coyon Greco got Andy squeezing everybody for more dues. You don't pay, you don't get a work permit. Poor fucks even gotta use Greco's loudmouth buddies to collect. This Greco sounds like a real piece of shit. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. On top of that, Andy's gotta keep the permits under lock and key. Anything happens to those, oof. Ain't no work happening around here. I'll see what I can get out of Toretto's people. Runs a tight ship. But you should be able to get some of his guys talking. Okay, so. Um, let's see. Ooh, I can go muscle him down. Let's see. Let us do that next time. Let's go uh, fuck some people up in the next episode or next part. So with that being said, I'll see you guys later.